And welcome back. This is Kotel. We've got another War of Rights event. Hope you all had a good weekend. It is Sunday, and we have an historical rules event. It is one server. It is Progress Mill. It is 324 on the server count. 158 on the defending CSA versus 166 on the attacking Union. Now, you have Parker in the sky as the admin for this round. We also have BLN. Mr. Eagle is also covering... There is a link in the description to his channel if you want to check out his stuff. I highly recommend it. He covers a lot of events I don't have time to cover. I'm, I'm not able to cover. So if you're looking for additional uh, war rights overhead views content, he is a person to go and check out. But let's take a look at these two teams, starting out with the Union. They have Hampton's Legion here that under Captain really Gene. The NYV, the 88th look by Sergeant Arrow, and Sergeant Pilot leading the 6th New York. We have 5th Corps led by Magpie. We've got 2 Corps led by Thurgon. See AGL, or I should say the UEC contingent here led by Juicy B. Uh, 6LA led by Zio Panama. TB led by Knight. 2 USC taking the calf as the calf, Mr. Eddie. And the SR under Mr. Talgray. Let's take a look. At the CSA team down here, we have JB, led by oh, Captain Shoemaker. Schumacher, I should say. We have A and V, at least one element, led by Colonel Killer. Let's see, we've got 13th Georgia, led by Major Cawthon, or Matt Cawthon. Major Matt Cawthon, I should say. Uh, 20th Georgia, led by Major Canada. 4th Georgia, led by 2nd Lieutenant Sauce. The other A and V element, led by Gamebot, the 6th Alabama element. 11th MS, under Major Fletcher. The LFL under Colonel Famas. Uh, let's see, DB under Denisimo. And HD under Mr. Angle. And I think that is everybody. I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I do apologize. But we are live at 40. There is no sprinting. There are no bayonets, though, until the 30-minute mark. And to all the French uh, participants, I hope you all voted. Important election. Why are you talking politics? I'm just telling you to vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for. But you should all vote. Very important election in France today. So, I hope you all voted. And I hope you all enjoy the video. So, we have a little bit of an advance element here under JB. Kind of taking some pot shots as the Union is heading... Um, I'm not sure where there, there's multiple elements coming out here. I don't really see a concentration. Um, they may be looking just to do some long distance firing for a little bit and kind of spread the uh, CSA field a bit. And Schumacher is done. He is going to get his men out of there and come back across the river. Just doing a little bit of a, you know, um, disruption operations. Although we have A and V kind of on this far flank as a far flank guard, they might be looking to do some flanking here soon. That is definitely Gamebot and Mr. Killer style. Oh, Schumacher hasn't run away. He's actually come down to this little uh, divot here, which uh, is decent cover. Um, it's not a bad position. It's going to be hard to retreat from. But uh, as far as cover goes, it's not bad at all. And again, it looks like the Union has opted for some long-distance shooting. It may be to spread this field out for a little bit of time. Here comes Zio Panama coming up to join Mr. Gene. Yeah, this tree is in my goddamn way. spreading the shots out. Take a first ring! And here we got some ripple fire, or fire by ranks, depending how you want to call it by the Hamptons Legion. Well, how's it going, boys? Now, Hamptons Legion is a pretty robust unit. They play in multiple events, both on the EU and the NA side, um, both through Friday through uh, Sunday. Um, they have a very active community. And they, um, in fact, they also run the uh, War Secession event later today. Um, for the NA time, so uh, if you're looking for a pretty robust unit that has a not just in war rights but has a very active community, HL might be worth uh, taking a look at. And as you can see, they have some pretty uh, robust uh, firing commands as well. And as I was expecting, here comes the flanking attack here 
Bye, Mr. Kiro and Mr. Geek. Game bot, I think they were waiting for this opportunity. I'm going to follow them in. Now, if you're looking for a unit that likes doing flanking maneuvers here, A and B, both killer and game bots, both elements, the 6th and the 10th, um, you could do quite well with them. They are a very robust unit. They have already, they have infantry, so does they show. They also have already an infantry. And they also play in many, many events um, throughout the weekend. So, again, another robust unit if you're looking for them. And in fact, if you're looking for any unit, I have left links in the description to all of these units. So if you're looking for units and one seems like it uh, might be a good fit for you, check them out. Check out their Discord, check out their times, their schedules, how they operate. And uh, if you want to sign up, sign up. Game is still on sale. I believe I'm not lying by that. For the summer sale, it is 50% off, only 15 bucks at the moment. So if you've been waiting for an opportunity to pick up the game, this is a good time. Oh, here's one of my... I do have... I do... Uh, TB under Major Knight is another robust unit there. Actually have three components now. The 10th Tennessee, the 27th Tennessee, and the 3rd Tennessee Cav. Another unit that plays in many events, public and private. And as you can see, you got Major Knight here with a very uh, <laughs> fun uh, commanding voice, as you could say. On the point, northeast. Fuck! Oh, Alpha volley right coming in from two core there, 14th LA. Right now, though, um. Fire. Uh, we got the Georgia boys here, 4th Georgia, 13th Georgia, and 20th Georgia. The Georgia Brigade here, as one might say, holding this position here. And you see A and V still holding this forward position. Did I miss a flank attack that they did? I hope I didn't. But a very advanced position by Killer and Gamebot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good awareness there by Mr. Killer. In fact, I'd start moving maybe at 30, you know, 30, 30, 31 maybe, uh, so you don't get caught out. Right now, this uh, little flank attack is working very well, and the Union is having trouble really inflicting sufficient casualties to make it worth it. Yeah, this right now is re really working to the uh, CSA's benefit here. They're actually getting a little bit ahead on tickets as well. Uh, here we got Captain Carlson here for the first U.S. Sharpshooters. I don't think I called them out here. Um, they are a, a very storied. They've been around for quite a long time. In fact, since I've been playing the game, when I started in 2019, I believe. Watch out, uh, watch out, uh, they favor small unit tactics is their operation here. Here comes 88th from the NYV. Uh, here comes A and B moving up though. See it. Oh, powerful volley from the A and V coming in, slamming into the poor 88th. Someone who's inside me. That's fine. We're where we need to be. That's fine. Somebody take aim. They're war friendly. Break dudes. Break dudes. Full bank. You see full uh, bank. Almost. I was right. Click left to east. All mad Black, All mad here. Here. I would have preferred 400, obviously, but um, I'm glad to see any, uh, any increase in the size of the servers. It has allowed us now to have one server for this event, which I'm very happy to see. So... Yeah. And Killer's moving up further here. He's got to watch that clock. But I think he's got another minute of fighting here. You know? yeah. And this flanking maneuver by the A and V has really shaped the battlefield and and kind of pushed the Union team, as you can see back into this one sector here. 
Meanwhile, the rest of the CSA team is kind of, ex I think they're expecting a charge across the river here, and they are massing up to meet it. So I really like the shaping option operation here by the CSA team. And uh, so far, I haven't really seen too much from the Union to, uh, to counter it. Into them, boys. By the way, I do the flags quite often, especially with this kind of map, uh, because I can't really see the impacts that well because of the foliage. Foliage? Foliage? Foliage. There we go. That's a word. Um, and I can kind of see how many are going down. I know it's not a cinematic, but again, this is... The main purpose of these videos, for anybody that might be new, is to give the units uh, an indication of what is going on in the map, because you have a very limited viewpoint as an individual unit in this game. Uh, but, you know, these wider views can kind of help them see what they did right, what they did wrong, you know, and, and use it as an analytical tool to get better. Balsa! That wasn't terrible. As you can see, good job here by all those elements. They have gotten back across the river here. Um, and you do have a pretty significant force here with LFL guarding this side. It's it's actually a little weaker than I would, would have hoped. Um, it seems like they're more expecting an attack on the centerpiece. I think the Union is looking for an attack on this side. We'll see where they go. But I think they're a little bit too overweighted now on this side. I think they need to start rotating some units now over to the CSA right. We'll see if that's what happens here as Baydance go live. But so far in these first 10 minutes, the CSA has done a wonderful job of not only gaining a ticket lead, but really shaping the battlefield and limiting the options for the Union, which is what you want to do in a shaping operation as a defender. You want to force them to attack in an avenue which is most advantageous for you and get them into a kill zone for you to, to really get a twist on them. And here we are, bayonets are live, sprinting is live, so we'll see. Again, you can see the Union is all masked up here, so I... I my criticism for the CSA right now is I don't think they have enough over here, but uh, we'll see where the Union attacks. Because once the Union gets... If they can capture, like, this position right over here, it is a pain in the ass to get them off of it. And then once they have that, they basically overlook the point. So, a tough business, but we will see what happens here. I agree with him. They're going to push west. When we go in, you do not fucking wait. If we enter melee, you go home. Yeah. Do not die out there. Keep an eye on their back. Don't run away from them. Let me see you. Hey, you hear Mr. Knight saying go. On you, let's move. If you need this sprint, make sure you go out of me. You will drain a lot of stamina. Cross this fucking water. Move across, boys. Green cross. Green cross. Green cross. You can see. Take his charge. Go, boys. Go, boys. All the way up, baby. All the way up. Don't you move. Don't you move. And here comes the attack. I, uh, I think the CSA made a huge mistake staying all this way back here. And the Union has a bridgehead. This was what I was worried about. You see some troops kind of flooding in here. Here comes A and B. But now here comes Eddie with the calf getting those pistols in there. And that is a casualty producing weapon system. And that is going to do some heavy damage as the Union is flooding in. And the CSA has lost whatever advantage they had as the Union continues to press the attack here in melee. The CSA trying to flood in to reestablish it. 
but it is a hell of a melee. And as you can see, the Union is winning this fight decisively. Here we have a attempted flank by Elements of HD to try to disrupt the locks, which is done by the flags. The flags are basically a line of communication because that is your response. But I don't think that's going to be enough to really disrupt. And these guys are going to get knocked out pretty dang easily. And there we go, a decisive win for the Union. Oh, this might be a bad move here now by Port Canada. He looks like he's going up by himself. I would not recommend this. And he might get nailed here by the UEC element over here. And here they come, but they are getting nailed here. And the CSA is now at engaged at the 26-minute mark. And the Union has won that charge decisively. Now the CSA, all that advantage, all that good shaping you have done has kind of gone out. They didn't have, in my opinion, enough weight to this side, nor did they oppose the wet gap crossing. And this, you know, here you got a gap between the two lines, you know, between the two formations here, and it's wet. It's a wet gap. That is what it's called. And it's also what you would call a linear danger area. So you see there's no cover, you slow a movement, and it's a line. It's a linear danger area is how you would describe this. And, oh, looks like we have a forward movement here by the cab. Maybe tr being a little bit too aggressive, maybe? But they do have the pistols, and they are doing some damage. Maybe they're trying to disrupt any kind of forward attack while those reinforcements flood in. But here we got 11th Mississippi here coming in. And they are going to try to set up on this side of the field. I kind of like this, actually. Um, they might be able to get some good shots in. Um... Are they charging in? They are going to charge in and maybe try to disrupt this uh, line of communication coming in from Maine. I think they're driving it a little bit too far, to be honest with you. I think this would have been more effective just cutting off the guys coming from Maine. Oh, but it's a combined charge from multiple angles, so maybe it will work. Here they come. Here comes 20, trying to push him off. Maybe that 11th Mississippi attack was the right call to distract the Union. Because I think it pulled off just enough troops for this uh, other element to charge in here. And they are, you see, CSA is recapturing this position here. It is still a fight. Here comes the Union, though. Are they going to cross right away? Right back into this fight. I would. Here comes the Cav. Eddie leading the way with the home guard. And they're going to try to get across this wet gap before the CSA can reorganize itself and reclaim those flags. Cav, shoot him down. Shoot him in the water, boys. Shoot him in the water. Here they come. Lead the way. I don't think the cab is enough to do it by itself, and the rest of the Union has held back. And Eddie will be massacred to a man back here. As the rest of the team said, no, we don't think we can make it in there, and maybe that was the right call, to be honest with you, but Eddie was the one to pay for it. And Big Al, the last man to fall. And the CSA has reclaimed... This side here and has eliminated that bridgehead. A great counterattack by the CSA team. And uh, I was a little critical of the 11th MS maneuver here, but I actually think that was the key. That was able to drag off enough of the Union force for the main body to hit on this side. So, a really good counterattack by the CSA team. And keep in mind, this is historical rules event. There is no Steam chat, there is no third party communications. Any talk is done completely through runners. That is it. You you have to talk to the dude. You cannot send a text. You cannot talk through Discord. Nothing. You can't talk through Steam Chat. It is all done through runners. So to execute a complicated attack like that, very well done. Now we'll see how the Union responds. Now keep in mind here, we're at 22 minutes. CSA is a little over halfway engaged. So um, not bad. Not bad, but the Union can still absolutely win this match here. 
we will see where they go next. Do they try to uh, fight this point here? Which now the CSA, as you can see, well, now they're pulling off. So we'll see how they uh, they go here. But they're not too far away. I think they could still do a counterattack. In fact, here we go. Here's the next attack. Two core coming up. But it's isolated. Where's the rest of the Union? Are they a distraction? They're not really pushing up, pushing up that much. Blah, blah, blah. Pushing up that much. Well, the CSA isn't biting either. Both teams are being very cautious here and not really overexposing themselves. Here we got LFL. Colonel Famas here sitting back, waiting for the Union to expose themselves by coming over this crest and not exposing himself to danger unnecessarily. Good positioning here by Lee's French Legion and LFL. They are a French-speaking unit and one of the mo one of a very aggressive unit. They play on uh, EU times, Friday, Saturday, and uh, Sunday, I believe. Well, here comes Eddie, but oh, here comes the A. Who is this? 11th MS, joined by the 6AL here, Gamebot, doing their flank maneuver here. And here they come to try to knock out Eddie. This is a great counterattack here by the CSA, catching the calf. Uh, they got to be careful not to get caught themselves here. Here's 4th New Jersey again. I don't think I called out in the uh, roll call. I do apologize. And the flank for the TB is still beautiful volley. Um, okay, good job here. The 11th MS is not sticking around. They are falling back and not getting nailed out here. But you can see, let's kind of roll out here now. You can see the overall battlefield. The CSA has now created a kill zone on this crossing here with these troops over here. The Union, in my opinion, needs to now swing over and hit this element here. Or bypass it completely and cross at this location. But right now, if they continue to try to get across or maintain this position, then you can see they're in a kill box right now. Nice little arc here that's developed in a very strong, mutually supporting position here for the CSA. Go away, stupid thing. Let me do my high camera movement, you bastard. So we'll see what the Union wants to do next here. About even on tickets, though. Uh, time is not bad. You see, 1942. Um, this is not bad. Union can still absolutely win this. Good up, boys. Keep it up. Keep going, barrels hot, boys. Keep going, barrels hot. They're on the beach. Excuse me. Hot barrels, Tennessee. Hot barrels, Tennessee. Straight across, boys. Keep lighting them up. Keep lighting them up. On that beach right there, laying down. This ain't no party. He's taking care of flies, right face, drop pistols. And here comes Gene. He's going to try to uh, chase off the A and V and Mr. Killer, who was looking for his famous back shot. But uh, looks like he wasn't quite able to get it this time. But he will try again. He is determined, if nothing else on those types of maneuvers. For A and V knows a man is most vulnerable from the rear. Here comes two USC, but I don't think there'll be enough to beat this line. They're going to need a little bit more support. And I think they made a mistake by sending the cab in first. And a very good disciplined fire here by this A and V combined line here. Oh, here comes 11th MS. Oh, great angle, as you can see, coming in to provide flanking fire support off of the A and B line, creating intersecting lines of fire here. You can see they've got this L shape going here, and that has completely pushed off that element for the Union. So great maneuver there by the 11th MS off of that base of fire from the A and B. But we are still even on tickets. And what is Union going to do next? We will find out next week on... Uh, no, not next week. We'll find out this week. Hopefully this week. Uh, 
Look at where that volley just came from. Kill those guys. JB has loved this little position over here. Again, I kind of like it for, you know, a little advanced unit to kind of be a little threat, a little, little thorn. You just got to get out in time, which is tough. You got the famous Mr. Angle, not with a cannon, but, you know, he still does his thing from Hood's division over here. Another robust unit playing in many events. Throughout the weekend, NA and EU times, infantry already, whatever you want. They got. Of course, we also got the two USC over here. Uh, one of my favorite uh, guys to watch. Very interesting cast of characters from uh, Merry Old England. They actually got people from all over the world. But. Um, they do mostly, I think, right now, Saturday and Sunday for EU times. Um, but a very fun group to watch. Dio Panama is another sneaky little guy here from 2Core, 6LA. Multilingual group, um, 6LA and 2Core in general. Uh, so if you're European, I forget all the languages they have. French, Italian, yeah, English, it's many, many languages, and I'm forgetting several that they have in there. But they are a multilingual unit, so... I would say right now the Union's starting to lose time here. Lose time. Jesus Christ. And there's a lot of vulnerability for this unit here. You just need to mass up and hit it and stop engaging these guys over here. And that could create enough of an imbalance here to start to take point and take some time here. Look how far up A and B has moved. These units over here right now, and in fact, he's already doing it. He's already thinking it. He's going to try to cut off this retreat here and nail these guys. The Union, I would say, needs to pressure these guys on the other side of this uh, bank here. There we go, taking losses and try to create an opening to attack again. You can cross in multiple locations. Like, here's a good crossing point, and you also have a crossing point all the way down here as well. So the Union is not spreading the battlefield. In fact, they're going across on this angle here. We'll see if this works. It's with a lot of force. LFL is going to try to hold them until reinforcements arrive. But we'll see. They got a lot of force. Here, Eddie bringing up the casualty producing weapons here. This is a lot of force coming in, but here comes the counterattack. And I think the CSA has, they've done a decent job here. They haven't completely closed the, the, uh, the bridgehead yet, though. Not today. Not today. We will see what happens next here. And here we got Killer coming up here, doing some fire, trying to keep these guys busy and not coming across to aid their friends over here. That is going to be key if the CSA is going to retake this position. I would be careful about not retaking it, though. Um, right now, I think it's it's fairly even. But they got some reinforcements coming in here soon from Maine. That might be sufficient to take it. But, oh, wait a second. Is the Union coming down? Here comes Gene, trying to lead his men down along with Knight to reinforce the beleaguered. We got uh, the UEC 5th Corps element. Ah, it's, it's all a mess. It's a lots of units down here. Second cap break about face with me. Eddie's going to fall back, but here come the reinforcements. Uh, here comes the flank maneuver by GameBot. He's going to try to cut him off at the pass. Cut him off at the pass? I hate that cliche. Head him off at the pass. That's the movie line. I fucked it up. Headley Lamar. That's Headley. Oh, 
88 to my right shoulder. One leg to my right shoulder. Independent fire. Get your loads. Independent So again, I really like these disruption elements here. Um, they're doing a lot of damage to the Union, but the Union has, to its credit, maintained. Oh, wait a second. Here it comes. Major attack by the CSA, but this time there's not enough distraction force. We'll see if this will be enough to retake it. Oh, here comes 20 of Georgia coming in. It is a melee here, but that, frankly, um, benefits the Union to keep up this fight as long as they can. You see they're doing a ton of damage here. CSA is still ahead on tickets, but they're losing that advantage. And the Union is not done yet, and here comes Juicy B with the UEC contingent coming up here. Join with Eddie and these other guys. And they have not lost it yet. And they still have their bridgehead. Here's Denisimo with uh, the DB, second Mississippi here at this elevated position, a Russian speaking unit if you're looking for one. Plays in uh, Sunday, also uh, Fridays and Saturdays, I believe, on the EU Times. Here we go. All right, so you can see 10 minutes remaining. CSA getting close to uh, breaking now. You need a little bit behind on tickets as they try to get men back. You still have this threatening force here under Killer, who I think is wisely waiting for the Union to commit to the uh, reinforcement before sending his troops back in. Here's a Cap Major Fletcher here bringing up the 11th MS to support, as does Colonel Famas. There we go. Union is now at breaking. And again, now you see uh, once they were a little bit more committed, A and B came up to delay these elements over here, TB and HL. And that has delayed reinforcements coming up to this bridgehead. I cannot praise this CSA intercepting force enough that's been over on this side. Multiple units have been involved in it, but I think it's really been successful in breaking up these Union attacks. And I think the Union has been a little bit too myopic in dealing with it. Yeah, they're literally sitting right there in the water. But despite all that, we're at nine minutes, and CSA is very close to breaking now. So absolutely still a good position here for this Union team. Are they? No, they're not. That's the sharps. All right, now those reinforcements are starting to flood down here. Here comes the SB. Let's see, you've got, who is this out here? Zeo Panama is going to try to flank around, maybe either to deal with them or maybe to, um, I would just sneak up and be in a position to try to cap, sneak cap over here. And that might be what Zeo Panama is trying to do. We'll see. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> Officer down. Come here, independent pop. Bob was independent. Here they come. 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 One at a time. Officer's popping shots. Fair wall. Get ready. No. Oh, wait. They got Zeo Panama. Got spotted over there by Killer. Good awareness by him. This this could have been a huge threat. And right now, we are at both teams on breaking. And the Union is pushing hard on this point here. Eleven, Mississippi, are we falling back? Question mark, who is that? 
You're not gonna hold it. You are going to take the race here. Recharge un couvert, recharge un couvert. Tennessee, Tennessee. Tennessee. Swing left, swing left, Tennessee. Up the hill. Take aim, take aim, take aim. Watch Tennessee. Break the low, swing right. And here comes the charge now. The CSA has a new defensive position back here. And this is really the last, this is the Alamo. If this falls, it's over. I think the Union knows that they are crashing in on them. Here we go. Holy shit. And the CSA has held, but wait a second here, wait a second here, Gene. It's coming around, on, and this is, I believe, Cap, you got to get on the Cap, which is, I think, right here where Gene is. And he is going to engage in the open. Great maneuver here by Gene and the HL. And as you can see, the CSA has to move down to capture now. you got Eddie and his guys as well pouring in with their pistols, those casualty-producing weapons. Independent fire, oh, fire at will. Independent fire, fire at will. Hello, danger in command. Independent fire, hold this line. Second right, keep up the independent second fire. Second right facing me. Second right face, second right face, right face captain. Second right face, over here. Let's and Eddie go. is going to come down independent over here fire. to help out HL. Hey, He's trying to stay on point, but I don't think they're going to have enough. All right, now we're at five minutes remaining. CSA Union is getting very close to final push here. Uh, we will see. The CSA is very far away from last stand, though. Oh, is there a charge here? It, Knight has tried to come up here and do some damage, but he is getting stuffed. They are trying to push through here, but they are getting stomped see where the rest of the Union team is. They're mostly coming from Maine. Um, I think the Union, CSA, CSA is in a very good position now. They have staunched this uh, attack very well here, and the Union is now very much spread out here. And they're about to panic because final push is going to happen here in the next couple seconds. And that clock is going to dip. And once that panic happens, they're going to be in a huge amount of trouble. We are at a full 350 server, by the way. West, 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 west. Oh, and we got another south. wet gap crossing here. Final push, there it is. 240 left. Oh, right. Only one theory is about to win the game. I mean, it's not wrong. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Shoot that Rambo. One of them is Eddie. Whoever kills Eddie gets a medal. That charge is pushing through, though. Where is the final charge going to come from? 
You can see they've broken through over here. And where's the rest of the Union team? Oh, here comes HL going to try to take this angle. And here we go. Here comes Knight trying to get across. And the CSA is pushing forward, which is good. You want to keep them off a point as long as you can. There's the last stand. One minute remaining. Oh, but the seat Union is still pushing through over here. They've broken through, but there's not much left to it. Here comes the charge to try to wipe out these few elements here. And the CSA is charging forward, which is the right call, in my opinion. You need to keep them off a point, and you have to do that from this shore. Here comes Knight, here comes Gene, here comes Thurgorn, here comes Magpie. Down they go. Trying to get onto point. Can they do it? Can they put it on overtime? I don't think that's. Nope. They cannot. CSA is victorious in a hard fought battle with a full 350 server. Man, that was a hell of a battle there. I would say Union was a little bit too uh, too obsessed with that one side. Didn't spread the field enough, and it hurt him. But um, still a very tough fight. We got one more to go. Hell of an HRE. Holy shit.